Hey, good day, everyone. It's and today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make your own server with Fist Superheroes mods or any other mod and how to play with uh, your friends on this server. So a lot of people ask me about this video to make this video, as you can see on the screen right now. And by the way, yeah, this is my top three comments of the day. If you want to see yours in next video, definitely write me something down in the comments. Put the like button if you want more tutorials on the channel and let's start. So first, of course, subscribe to my channel and all links in the description as always. You can find their Forge, Negrog, and uh, mods and stuff like this. So uh, yeah, by the way, look at this analytics right here. Uh, we already have 5% of my viewers subscribe to the channel. Let's go to 15. So yeah, subscribe. But let's start first with um, installing the Fisk Superhero mod. I have a video on my channel how to install Fisk Superheroes mod uh, 2022 update. So check it out. If you already have it installed, let's start. If you did, uh, if you didn't yet, definitely check out this video. Link on the screen right corner right now, or, or also link in description. But okay, so also in this video, I have link in description on uh, Fisk Superheroes 2 and on the add-on and on the map that I'm playing uh, always. So now first, let's start with the Forge. Uh, just go to this page, link in the description, and uh, obviously we need 1.7.10 version of the Forge because uh, it is version for Fist Superheroes mod. If you want to play with some other mod, uh, download your version. For example, if you want to play on 1.12.2, download 1.12.2 right here. So just click right here, install, and you will install Forge. I already have it right here. So as you download it, just click right here, on this button and you will have mod system installer right here so uh, i think if you have forge installed on your pc you already know how to do this just install client and that's it but this is for just a regular forge for server we need to click install server and we also need to um, create a new folder on desktop and call it server just a new folder it is completely empty. It should be completely empty. So now let's click right here, three dots, then go to the desktop and choose server. That's it. Let's click open and let's click OK. Now we need to wait for this stuff to install. Let's wait a little bit like it will, it will be probably like two minutes or something. OK, that's it. Successfully downloaded micro server, 17 libraries and installed Forge. This is it. Now let's click OK and open server folder so here what you need to do uh you don't need this stuff right here Minecraft server 1.7.10 don't touch it but this stuff you need to rename it to this server so it will be a lot easier for us that's it boom we just renamed it now what you need to do uh basically go uh, and run this stuff right here okay wait a little bit and boom we have some more stuff here we have eula right here and some folders just click on eula and here we have eula false and we need to change it to true just like this and Control s save it and close it that's it now what you need to do is run the server again and let's see if it's working because it should work okay yeah it's working right here so now you can close the stuff because we don't need it yet uh, we can see that it is working now go to Negrog and a link in the description like I said and here just log in to your Negrog with uh, basically with the Google account like I did right here as you can see and download Negrog for Windows I already downloaded it and also you will need to copy this stuff right here it is your auth token okay now open this Negrog stuff right here it is zip file and just drag Negrog XZ down here to this folder. Now let's just run Negrog and you'll have this stuff right here. Here just put Ctrl V button, boom, that's it. Now put enter and we have our token saved to configuration file. This is it. Now what you need to do, uh, don't close Negrog uh, and go to the mods folder in your server folder this is empty and here you need to drag down all the mods that you want to play with on your server uh, so I'm gonna just copy all the mods from my um, Minecraft mouse folder if you don't know like I said if you didn't install this superheroes mod yet or some other mod that you want to install link on link in description on the video where I showed you how to install just click copy right here and post right here in this folder boom that's it we just installed all the mods for our server then what you need to do just run the server again 
okay we have some more stuff right here yeah as you can see our server just started right here because we have the war done right here and also we just reloaded some hero packs for fist of heroes also what you need to do is just uh go and write uh slash op in your nickname for me it's data to op yourself on your server this is it opt data as you can see that's it now what you need to do basically just one thing go to negrog and here type negrog tcp and um like that region and your region for me i will go with us you can go with europe eu or asia or some like african stuff stuff like that but default is united states obviously and uh you need to go with two five five six five this is it now click enter okay so now basically you're ready to play on your server and right now you probably have in your negrog on your screen you have your ip and um the port of your server and use your ip to send to your friends and they and they can use your ip to connect in minecraft to your server but i don't have it right now on my screen because i already did this stuff and uh negrog account works only for one um a server start and i don't have any other account but if you will get paid network account like paid version of this program you will be able to make an infinite amount of this stuff but um actually you you can go with just free version easily and yeah that's kind of it just remember your ip or maybe you can google your ip but basically this is it now let's go to minecraft i'm gonna show you just quickly how to connect to a server okay yeah so as you're in the game just click on multiplayer then click on direct connect by the way if you have this superhero mods installed you will have this community server right here so you can play there but if you want to play just with your friends uh you need to uh, make your own server so basically just click direct connect and here type your ip address if um your friend need to uh, connect to your server he needs your ip it will look something like this or uh it is negro negro stuff or it will be something like i don't know like 192.80.0. something and uh some port like this or i don't know like this so basically yeah your ip that you will see in negrog or you can google it public ip that's it so if you are if you need to uh, connect to your own server you can type zero or just type localhost and you will connect to your own server okay i'm on my server right now as you can see i have shatter packs installed they're really really cool and i am opt on this server so as you remember we did op data so i can go and do game mode one here and we just did game mode one in here as you can see we have this superhero mod and all of the add-ons too so this is kind of cool but this is probably it it's all one on one show today of course subscribe channel let's go to 10,000 subs let's go to 15 percent in analytics also don't forget about links in the description don't forget about the like button let's go to 500 likes on this video don't forget about links in description not only on mods but on my patreon because i have exclusive videos there two new exclusive videos every week on my patreon check it out and yeah that's kind of it uh thanks for waiting for this video because i was doing this like not usually like two days but three and a half so yeah that was kind of crazy but say in the next one it was there